Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the parsing algorithm. Parsing algorithms. Okay. So first we will discuss about the types of parsing algorithms. First one is the parsing algorithm. Parsing algorithms generally will use DPDA. DPDA automata. DPDA means deterministic push on automata. Deterministic deter ministric push down deterministic push down automata okay so generally deterministic push down automata will recognize all type means all parsing algorithms deterministic push down automata will recognize all types of parsing algorithms will recognize so now we will discuss about now we'll discuss about see the types of parsing algorithms. Generally, there are two types of parsing algorithms. The first one is the top-down. First one is the top-down parsing algorithm. The second one is the bottom-up parsing algorithm. Okay. What is the meaning of top-down parsing algorithm? Generally, the top-down parsing algorithm follows derivation process and leftmost derivation. Okay, now we'll try to understand what is the meaning of derivation process and leftmost derivation using, using the given example. Okay, don't worry. So, bottom up, similarly, bottom up parsing algorithm, bottom up parsing algorithm, parsing algorithm generally follows two processes. First one, sec first one is the reduction process. The second one is the rightmost derivation. Okay, so now we'll discuss about what is the meaning of derivation process and reduction process and what is the meaning of leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation okay now we'll see with the help of one example say Okay, so first we'll try to understand what is the meaning of leftmost derivation and what is the meaning of rightmost derivation. Okay, this is one of the context free grammar. This is one of the context free grammar. Now we'll see, now we'll derive the past tree. Now we'll design the past tree using leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation. So this is the star symbol, a special symbol we can say. So star symbol, first we'll see about the leftmost derivation left most derivation then second one is the right most derivation okay so left most derivation means we'll start from s we'll start from s so s is divided into four parts a capital a then capital b then e since it is left most then here small a and small e both are terminals but capital a and capital b both are non terminals there are two non terminals so we have two options either we can derive a or we can derive b since there are two options are available since it is a leftmost derivation so we will first derive a since it is a leftmost derivation we will first derive a Either we can use AB. There are two productions, A to ABC and A to B. So we can use any production. Let I am using A to small b. A to small b. So this is called let most derivation. If it is right most derivation, so what happens? See, S2, so S2, A, capital A, capital B, then E. Since it is the right most derivation, since here there are two options, capital A and capital B, capital B. Now we'll since it is a rightmost derivation. Now we'll derive B is the first. Now we'll derive B is the first. Means B equals B to D. Means the production B to D. Leftmost derivation means first we'll derive the leftmost non-terminal. But in case of rightmost derivation means we'll first derive 
the right most non terminal okay so this is the main difference between the left most derivation and right most derivation okay now we'll see what is the meaning of derivation process what is the meaning of reduction process see the first one <coughs> first one the derivation process remember derivation process always starts from the starting symbol always start from the start symbol always start from the starts start symbol or starting symbol we can say derivation process always start from the starting symbol suppose suppose one example here uh, a b d a b d suppose one string this is one of the string a b d e this is one of the given string now we want to derive now we want to derive the string how to derive this string suppose if we will follow the derivation process how we will get this given string now we will start from the starting symbol because derivation process always starts from the starting symbol always start from the starting symbol so s2 part a capital a capital b then small e now since the next element is the the next terminal is the b the next terminal is since next terminal is b so we will derive a to b here the next terminal is d here in the given string so now we will derive b to d here so we can get the given string what a b d a b d e so now we'll get the given string like a b d so this was this is called as the derivation process derivation process means the derivation process always starts from the starting symbol to the given string to the given string to the given string so this is called as the derivation process now we'll see about the reduction process what is the meaning of reduction process reduction process is generally the reverse of derivation reduction process is nothing but it is the reverse reverse of derivation reverse of derivation so reduction is the reverse process of derivation when since derivation starts from start symbol to given string similarly reduction always starts from given string to start symbol means given string given string to start symbol start symbol right so see here this is the given string a b d a b d e now we'll see b next first element a a is already means we'll get what star symbol means s s is a a is already there no need to write so then b how to the next element next element of means after a is capital a so how to get a so b b can be derived from a so we can derive b from what b we can derive b from a then we can derive next one, next one s element is the next element is capital b so see the next element is here in the given string is d small d so d can be derived from b d can be derived from b okay now now we can derive s s to s a b then e okay so this one is called as the reduction process this one is called as the reduction process reduction process means this is the reduction process is called as the reverse of derivation process okay derivation process from start string to sorry start symbol to given string then the reduction is the 
reduction process is the reduction process is called as the reverse of derivation or we can say the given string to the start symbol so this is the main difference between the top down parsing and bottom up parsing okay now we'll see the definition the difference between the top down parsing in short we can write top down parsing and bup means bottom up parsing the difference between the top down parsing and bottom parsing is the is way of construction of parse tree is way of construction of parse tree may this is the main difference way of construction of parse tree okay this one each one is called as the parse tree we can say this one is called as the one parse tree this one is called as the parse tree this is the construction means top down parsing follows the leftmost derivation at the time of construction of parse tree and bottom up parsing follows the rightmost derivation at the time of construction of parse tree okay see what is the difference the top down parsing algorithm construct the parse tree starting construct the parse tree starting from the start symbol and proceeds proceeds until the required string but bottom up parsing algorithm construct the parse tree starting from the given string and proceeds until start symbol of the grammar until start symbol of the grammar this is the main difference means until we get uh, we will proceed until getting the start symbol means start symbol means a of the grammar okay now we will see the types of top down parsing see the types of top down parsing top down parsing is of two types first one is called as the backtracking second one is called as the without backtracking backtracking and without backtracking or it is called as predictive parsing without backtracking means or it is called as the predictive parsing so here backtracking backtracking is brute force brute force parsing algorithm is also called as backtracking method brute force parsing algorithm is also called as the backtracking method so without backtracking or predictive parsing is of two types again the first one is called as the recursive descent parsing the second one is called as non recursive descent parsing or it is called as the lll1 parsing or it is called as lll1 parsing okay so finally top down parsing is of two types first one is backtracking second one is without backtracking or predictive parsing so backtracking top down parsing is of only one type this is called as the brute force this is called as the brute force parsing algorithm without backtracking or predictive parsing is of is again of two types the first one is called as the recursive descent parsing the second one the second one is called as non recursive descent parsing or lll1 parsing okay later we'll try to understand what is the meaning of brute force what is the meaning of recursive descent what is the meaning of non recursive descent or lll1 parsing we'll discuss in very detail okay we'll discuss in very detail about the top down parsing means brute force recursive descent non recursive descent or uh, recursive descent like this or lll1 parsing okay next we'll see the types of bottom up parsing okay see the bottom up parsing algorithm generally there are four types of bottom up parsing algorithm the first one the first one is called as lr0 the second one is called as slr1 the third one is called as clr1 the fourth one is called as la lr1 generally there are four types of bottom up parsing lr0 slr1 clr1 and la lr1 so we will also discuss in very detail about all of the bottom of the parsing like lr0 slr1 clr1 and la lr1 from uh, the next class onwards okay so in the next class we'll see the first parsing algorithm it's called as the brute force it's called as the brute force parsing algorithm okay so thanks for watching for today's class also